Hello my fellow City Skylines mirrors and welcome to the speed build time lapse of a non-grid city with an underground highway network and a lot of carefully handcrafted neighborhoods. My name is Peter and I haven't made this kind of a video for City Skylines before. At first this was supposed to be just a prop city in which I was going to explain to you all the problems and solutions for not enough workers in City Skylines. And while that video is going to be uploaded soon, I like this city and its unique design too much not to share its building with you. There are several main decisions I have made with this city. First one was to have hidden entrances and exits from the highways which ended up being done with different rocks, trees and landscaping but later this gets even more stylized and changed. Second I wanted all the highways to be underground and only have entrance and exit highway ramps connect from the underground highways to the above roads. The network of these is made using one of my earlier designs which guarantees a lot more dispersed traffic around the city and many more exits and entrances onto the two main highways. You can find out more about this design and watch it in action in the city by following the links up here and in the description below. Third, I wanted to make the city a mix of circles, spirals, straight lines, one-way roads and strictly non-grid because I do this far too often and this city was meant to be an exception to almost all the rules. That is why it has a nuclear power plant in the middle of it, an industry which is spread out and not directly mixed with residential and commercial zones on the micro scale that is, but rather in the macro scale in the overall design of the entire city. Fourth, I wanted to build the city in a way where it follows the regular gameplay of a city not made with everything unlocked and unlimited money to some extent, but not totally, as I had that option turned on so I could design the highways and roads in the way I wanted them from the get-go. This is why I start small with one neighborhood at a time, using low density zoning, adding services and utilities as necessary beyond the initial investment for the power plant and the water switch system. If you like what you have seen so far, do not forget to hit that like button, leave me a comment with the suggestions for district names and subscribe if you haven't already to see more similar videos and that tutorial about solving the problems of not enough workers I mentioned was coming really soon. Enjoy the rest of the video, if you like the music it is in the description, but if it's not your cup of tea, feel free to leave me some suggestions in the comments below and I will use them in the next videos. I wish you all happy gaming, until next time.